what's on Sharon. Now, as you can already see, today's show is slightly different to what I've done in the past, and I'm doing it right here in the UAE. So a little look into the country, two largest cities, Abu Dhabi, the country's capital, and Dubai, which draw millions of tourists each year. Dubai is also the regional business hub with its slick skyscrapers, and is also home to the tallest tower in the world, the Burj Khalifa. That's not all. Amongst the glitz and the glamour and the infrastructure, Dubai is also on the world map in the form of the Dubai World Cup. Now, the best racehorses from around the world are flown in each year to participate in what has become the richest horse race in the world. One might even say that Dubai is the Formula One of horses. Anyway, today I'm here to talk to Ismail Hussain. He is a professional racehorser and a coach and he's been so kind to invite me over to his stables. We're going to talk about horses, his career, how he got to be here in Dubai and also he's going to give me a one-on-one -on, -one on horse riding. I'm really excited, so let's go. Ismail, thank you so much for being here. I know today has been a bit of a hectic day for you, so I really appreciate it. Oh my um, let's start from the very beginning. When did your love of horses begin? Uh, my first time on a horse, it was at the age of three. That's okay. a few months. Oh, so small. Yeah, so small. <laughs> I was riding with my, with my father when okay. he was riding horses. And my first classes began at the age of six. Okay. So I started with ponies three years of ponies and then I went to horse riding, like huh? big horses. Okay. So yeah, we, okay. have to, we have to start from, from ponies right, yeah. Yeah, to control more. So uh, at the age of six, I started wow. classes. Uh, and at the age of 12, I started professionally. The okay. competitions, uh, coaching, everything. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So at such a young age, you did know that this is where you were heading. True. And I, I, I was like, uh, I was born in a, in a horsey family. Okay. My father, my grandfather, my mother, everyone. Uh, oh, there, everyone's. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, tell me about Dubai. I know it's, you know, it is in the world map there because of horse racing. So why did you pick Dubai? True, because uh, there is a large difference between Dubai and uh, my uh, my country, you know, Morocco. So uh, I lived in Morocco. I went to France and I came back again to Morocco. So last year I came here to uh, UAE. I started my job here and I found that paradise here. It is, yeah. yeah. It was by accident. I came as a customer here. Oh, okay. And now I'm taking the management of the of this table right. and also the coaching. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Accidents are always the best. Uh, yeah, it? especially yeah. with the horses. <laughs> yeah. So you've obviously traveled the world in terms of, you know, horse racing. You've been there, done that and taken part in so many like professional races. Tell me an unforgettable incident. Okay, I, I think it was my first competition when okay. I was uh, 11, 12 exactly. Okay, that's that was my unforgettable <laughs> okay. to be honest because uh, it was my first competition and I was from the, the top. Oh, right, the top okay. three. So okay. I took, I think, the third or the second place. Okay. That was the first day. The second day, I took the second and the first place. Oh, so right. it was a, a very, very beautiful weekend for me. Yeah, <laughs> and that was such a long time ago. Yeah, because my, my, uh, my uh, uh, specific in horse riding is jumping. Okay. Yeah, so I'm doing jumping. All my life I was doing jumping, even here at that stable. Okay. Uh, yeah, otherwise we have endurance horses, yeah. but I'm focusing on jumping. Okay. Because yeah. you can feel the holes, you can feel uh, the heat between you and the holes, yeah. you know, everything you can feel it. And you have only one minute to yeah. check if you are a winner or a loser. That's right. it. Right? Yeah. But in the whole side, we don't have losers. So yeah. No, 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 of no, course not. And uh, talk about heat, you're definitely going to feel it here. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. I was living in a 25 as maximum, 25, oh, yeah. 29 as maximum. Yeah. I came here in the summer. <laughs> my first, <laughs> yes. my first came here when I was, uh, yeah, last year, it was last year, last summer. Last summer. I came okay. here, I was like, Oh, I will leave here. Okay. But I resisted. Yeah. But now I love okay. the city. Yeah. yeah, I love the city. Yeah. yeah, you can't, you get used to it. Yeah, of course. Yeah.
breakfast start starts at 7 a.m. Okay. They are eating their breakfast, uh, taking shower after one hour and a half, and then for about the summer here in Dubai, I prefer to rest them at the summer. But after we have work all day, okay. like at least one hour per day, okay. a class, a normal class, a jumping class, or outside, okay. going on trot, going for their muscles, especially for the endurance horses. They are going outside, but our jumpers keep it inside the arena. We have so many exercises. Okay. Next questions, like how they deal with the heat? Well, uh, we have some horses, third bread, we use the ACs. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. but for Arabian, Arabian horses, they can handle it. They can survive, they can resist for that heat. Okay. Because normally they are for endurance. Yeah. So we need to test their endurance. Yeah, and yeah. And the resistance also. Yeah. So yeah, it's fine for, for, for Arabian horses. Oh, but these it. types of horses, yeah. we need ACs. It needs to be like a VIP. VIP oh, suite, yeah. Look at them. <laughs> so, are you going to show me like a few stunts? Of course. Yeah, yeah. okay, let's go. Let's go. and I'm kind of done the, the first bit of it. But what are the do's and don'ts? Well, uh, for example, we have uh, trust the horse and don't trust the horse. Okay. You see? Okay, trust him. He will put on your head. He will not kick you, yeah. but don't go back. Okay, yeah. That's the do's and the don'ts too. Right. So uh, just give your heart to the horse. He will give you his heart back. That's easy. Yeah, yeah it's easy. It's easy to be honest. Yeah. So if I am doing my first lesson, my first horse riding lesson, cool. what, where, what's the journey like? Well, we will start uh, by a class. We are not going out because outside is a little bit uh, more difficult than inside the arena. Right, we can yeah. have basics inside the arena and then we, you can go out with the horse. We can go on trot. Well, normally, uh, I'm playing on, on the position of, of the rider first. I, I don't think that the horse he will he will he will help you at, at the first classes, but I'm focusing on the rider first at the first ten classes, and then I'm switching horses. I'm giving hard horses, crazy horses. So that's that's the that's the journey exactly. Okay. During. So I know you've seen me on the horse for well, we had a ride a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So this is the second <laughs> one. What do you think of me? Well, uh, for your position, uh, before it was 40 percent. Now it's seventy percent, so that's an honor for me. Oh, oh yeah, it is course. an honor for me. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. So, when you're training a horse, you do horse training as well. Sure. When do you know, like, how far to push them or when to stop? Uh, well, for endurance horses, you have like training one hour, uh, two hours in the winter, because the competitions are four hours, five hours. Okay. For my horses, jump uh, for jumping. Uh, if the horse got the exercise, خلاص. he got it in 20 minutes. خلاص, I stop. Oh, yeah. okay. If he didn't get it at that class, yeah. I can take one hour, but not far than one hour and a half okay. as maximum, because okay. they are very sensible, not like Arabian horses. Oh, okay, so that's it. That's all they get for like a whole day. Yeah. If oh, your horse okay. is smart, he will get the exercise from. Well, he can, he can, he can. Uh, uh, fail the first time, second time, third time, but you know the host. If he's making progress, he's a good host. That's when you know to keep going. Uh, well, my advice for, uh, for, uh, for the people who wants to buy a horse, if they will leave with that horse, I'm not, I'm not talking about short period, because a horse taking care of him, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his medicines, his care in general, you don't need months, you need years. So if you want it, if you think about a horse, don't think about a short period, a very long period. Well, I will tell you, for, for, for the horses, it's uh, very expensive to take care of them. Right, yeah. But if you put your heart before your pocket, 
you can survive. That's the way to yeah, go. And he can survive okay. too. Okay, I might, I might just hold off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of the horses, I think. <laughs> Ismail, this has been so much fun and educational. <laughs> All my thank, pleasure. Thank you so much thank for being so here. Thank you so much and thank you for, uh, for your interview. Thank, thanks to the crew too. I, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, all the best in Thank the you. future. And I'm no doubt I'm definitely going to see more <laughs> videos. It's okay if we're still alive, of course. <laughs> I'm sure you will be. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jitain. I really, pleasure. really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Catch me again on another episode of What's on Sharon for today. Bye.